here today and I hope that as you're sitting there, wherever you are looking at the devotional, that you took the challenge from the previous devotional, applied it, did it, stepped out in faith and watched what God did through you and you're here today as a witness that God is good to his word. Celebrate that fact. That'd be awesome if I could hear from me and know what God is doing and what he's saying to you in that whole experience. If you haven't yet, don't be discouraged and don't let that beat you up and, and let the enemy use that to oppress you or make you feel bad. All right, because today we want to give you another chance with something to go along with it. You ready? Now, this is God speaking to Moses after they've had this exchange of conversation. He says, now go and call together all the elders of Israel. Tell them, Yahweh, the God of your ancestors, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob has appeared to me and he told me, I have been watching closely, and I see how the Egyptians are treating you. I have promised to rescue you from your oppression in Egypt. I will lead you to a land that is flowing with milk and honey. The elders of Israel will accept your message. Then you and the elders must go to the king of Egypt and tell him, The Lord, the God of the Hebrews, has met with us. Now, listen, I, I just want to stop right there in the middle of all that just to say this, you know, that God has put other people around you. You're not isolated. You're not alone. Even though we challenged you like God challenged Moses to, to take the challenge personal and go do something. Now God gives a good word. and He's like, look, I'm not sending you alone. I'm sending you with the elders of Israel and you're going to go as a force to go and do this thing. Now, the good news for us, New Testament believers, we have received the Holy Spirit. Remember when Jesus was ascending in Acts chapter 1, he said, Wait, and you will be filled with the promise of the Father, the Holy Spirit, and you will have power to be my witnesses. Now, ch church, listen to me, because we're not going out there alone. God has given us something way greater than elders. The Holy Spirit, God himself, dwells within us. And he has asked that we would join with the Holy Spirit in doing the work of the kingdom. God has also put brothers and sisters in our lives, like-minded people that serve Jesus Christ. And we can work together as the church and as the bride of Christ and push forth into darkness and bring forth the light of Jesus Christ in this world. So I wanna challenge you today, understand that you're not alone. The Holy Spirit is with you and you have the brothers and sisters of the body of Christ that are with you as well. So let's be bold. Let's start taking some authority against the spirit of darkness that seems to be reigning and growing in its hold in our country. Let's stand boldly as people of God and proclaim the truth that our God reigns. The enemy doesn't. And God will move with a strong hand when his people are obedient to what he says. Let's be that church. God bless you today.